Well, I mean, what do you think about this? So, I mean, there, you were saying, well, men throughout history have been a bit more violent. Um, so I, I saw this, I've seen the stat a couple times. Mm -hmm. So if we're looking at heterosexual couples, lesbian couples and gay couples, we actually find that, for example, uh, gay couples, so two men mm -hmm. in a relationship, the rate of domestic violence is actually lowest oh, wow. amongst homosexual gay, mm -hmm. gay men. It's in the middle for heterosexual couples and okay. the incidence rate of domestic violence in lesbian couples is actually the highest. Okay. So that's an interesting thing because when you have two men, you you would think, well, men are tend to be more violent. Why is it then Can that I play? when you put two men in a relationship, yeah. The incidence of violence, domestic violence, is the lowest. Okay, can I play and devil's two, advocate? When there's two women together, it's the highest. <laughs> okay, can I play devil's advocate for a second? Go ahead. Okay, so we like to typically, I think, make out um, anyone who's, let's say, gay to be, well, they're more feminine. And then we look at uh, women who are lesbian and we're like, well, they're more masculine. So is that what in the brain what's making that? happen then this is similar to what i wanted to ask do we believe that i mean that's a fair question but go ahead like every female well first of all women and men we both have testosterone and um mm -hmm. estrogen right yeah mm -hmm. and it can be imbalanced so yeah. i feel like it depends on the person and we can't like box everything in sure. well yeah Going but we health. can take a look at statistical averages and another important data point is that although when men tend to do domestic violence the damage can be greater women are more likely to initiate domestic violence than men and men are less likely to report it than mm, women yeah. are because they're less likely to be believed i'll give you right? that yeah i want to go back to the draft really quick <laughs> yeah go for it <laughs> uh, i wanted to go back to you two guys i think both of you said no women shouldn't be drafted i was just curious why not um i think because there's a difference between men and women because mm -hmm. men are you know physically stronger mm -hmm. and like sure um, I feel like, I don't know, if you enlist everybody, then... So, can I ask you a question, a follow-up on that? Um, so, you say men are physically stronger. Mm -hmm. Do you think, then, if that's the case, if women shouldn't be subject to forced military conscription, should women be barred from volunteering for uh, the military? No. I think... Well, why? So, why are they barred from forced military conscription, but they're able to volunteer? Um... Because it occurs to me, like, for example, in peacetime, uh, I mean, or in, in wartime, there could perhaps be a greater need for more, uh, more soldiers. Mm -hmm. Whereas in peacetime, do you need them? Women just <laughs> join the military so they can get free college. Oh, wow. Wait, so, but, uh, okay, but so... <laughs> Men are stronger, that's why. Even though why. that benefit isn't really even happening anymore. And then what about you? You said uh, women should not be drafted. Why is that? Um, well, when I said it was for the same reason that like men are physically stronger. Mm -hmm. And I was, for what you said about like volunteering, I feel like um, the women who choose to volunteer would have like, would be physically strong as well. But like, like. Oh, were you going to come in on this? Or? Okay, well then, okay, yeah. I'm not going to deny men are physically stronger. That's just a thing. Um, but then, uh, you know, you were saying how, you know, women have to use their brain because they got to make up for what they lack in strength, right? Mm -hmm. So then who's to say that the brains can't be used in uh, situations in the military as well? Well, that would be a great point as well, except for this thing called greater male variability, which if mm -hmm. you look at, you can look at a number of different metrics. Uh, I was just on Tim Cast and we were talking about grip strength mm -hmm. as an example, mm -hmm. but you can do it with IQ. You can do it with all different measures of aptitude. And what we see is that women tend to cluster around the mean more than men. And there's this small percentage of men and in anything that are so much better at everybody else that it's like not even close so as a woman if you're trying to be a ceo a general in the military a strategist mm -hmm. in the military trying to be a police officer a detective anything like that you're going to have to compete with this tiny top tier of men that is going to be so far ahead of you that the the odds of you beating them are very very small which is why even after 100 years of equality we don't see a lot of women at the top of these highly competitive 
pursuits like being a CEO, like being a four star general in the military, like being the president, things like that. So it's one of the differences that makes it really tough for women to compete. So even if you're very smart for a woman, you may not be able to compete with that top tier of men. I don't Statistically. Like that. So you're <laughs> saying men are just naturally smarter. Well, I'm you saying mentioned that the, the variability top, thing, yes, right? Nick, can you pull that up? We'll yeah. just look at it. So okay. there's this, uh, this is like, uh, Nick, can you make it smaller, please? Yeah. And then I'm also going to find you just the article. Hold on. I'm sending that to you in private chat. Pull that up, please. Get it quick if you can. Uh, so it's this idea that I think it isn't it even the case that on like women are on average smarter? Yes. Or is it There's like, more of us that are in that middle of gathering uh, so, around the Yeah. Mean. So I'll, I'll read this really quick. Okay. But the men the, who are smartest are way ahead. The generally. the variability hypothesis also known as the greater <coughs> male variability hypothesis <coughs> is the hypothesis that males generally display greater variability in traits than females. Pull that one back up, Nick. The the chart. Just click on it. Okay, so basically what they're saying is that there's more stupid men. <laughs> there's like real, there's a lot more dumb, dumb men. Sure. But there's like also like a greater proportion of like really, really smart men. Okay. But then there's like more women who are in the middle. Right. Okay, then that, that kind of goes back to the, my point though. Then if there's more women in the middle, then what's the harm then of actually, because that means we're having greater odds of having smart women than we are of, we're, we're, we're risking more by having a. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying a higher smart women IQ. can't do smart girl things. I I'm no, a I'm smart not. woman who does smart yeah, girl things. Clearly. But when we're talking about who should be like at the apex of society running things, generally men are going to have the monopoly on force, strength, uh, okay. cognitive skills, leadership skills, social skills. They're just mm. that top bit of men are going to be so far ahead. Okay, but that, going back to your point, then then how does that affect the draft? Because that's not well, the top tier. That no, draft is but just... the draft is just you have to be physically capable. And like you sure. are a tiny girl. I if know. You had to, if you had to jump in tomorrow and do the PT prescriptions that men yeah. have when Literally they have the a military, booster seat. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like a really strong girl. I've done powerlifting mm -hmm. and weightlifting yeah. for years. I've got like a 250 pound for five reps deadlift nice. right now. I've got a 200 pound squat. But you put me next to a man who's my size that doesn't even okay. train, and he's going to whoop my ass. Uh, so. But for example, like, what if there's an emergency situation, uh, you know, when you're out in the field? Uh, you know, we're, I think I'm okay to say this, the more likely to see a man just kind of like brute his way through it rather than like, okay, think, how can we problem solve this so nobody gets more injured or in a less risky situation, I should say? Um, you know what so I'm you think that on average women are more strategic than no, men? No, I'm not or? saying strategic, but I mean if we're looking at like, you know, the mean average of you know the brain kind of thing. Sorry, <laughs> um, then you know wouldn't it be fair to say that they're going to be more able to look at those situations uh, better than the average we're seeing based off the graph you gave us? I'm not really sure what you're asking. I'm so not sure in those risky situations, then if the mean average is that, you know, the women are uh, going to overall have a, a decent IQ, then they'd be more likely to handle those risky situations where it, we really need to think about it than say the average we're going to find that's not really how it works and when you're entering the military they test you sure right? i know so that if you're, if you're below a certain iq you're not going to be in the field doing certain things for yes. that reason Are you saying I know. that we assess risk differently right and men do not take as much time to assess those risks and they right. just jump right in well yeah. women are more risk averse but usually in a military situation that's going to be bad well yes <laughs> right. no you want to be on your toes because of course you know you never know what's going to happen um women are very conflict avoidant and on average they don't want to be in the military well, for well here's the thing then then why is there a problem having an equal uh, amount like an equal opportunity for drafting men and drafting women then so that means we're having uh equal risk takers and it's equal maybe not risk takers when, so, do we want that fair bit of so both? Do you, what you're telling me is all throughout human history armies have been made of men and now, because it's 2024 <laughs> and technology, we should put all of 
like look at the table of ladies here you all are lovely you're probably great singers you're beautiful but do i want you on the front lines fighting no i don't i uh, sure i get i, I, I get that i want, I see what I you're want saying women too. Like, yeah. on the so, front lines <laughs> I'm so, a feminist. Oh. So she send them. All I, you know equality. what? I think we do. We do a total switch up. Men don't get to get drafted, and we just draft with the women. Use the women <laughs> as meat shields for a little yeah. bit. I, I'm soften, not, soften the friends. soften the enemy up a little bit. Then the men can come in. I'm not. And take I think, care of I think the, something you know, that's interesting. Take care of it. We'll I take think, care of it. The women soften them up. I think something that's interesting is that you're saying. We have equal portions of men and women entering the military, but then what you would have to do is you would have to separate those roles once they enter the military, and then yeah. then it's not equal anymore. So I, what I, is the point of doing I that? I do get you're saying. Uh, well, I mean, if okay, based off the physical stuff like we're talking about again, I think that would have to depend on the woman. I mean, look at some of the women in the Olympics. They could totally do it, right? Um, could they? Yeah, like, like who? I, I yeah, mean, those first are also of, outliers as yeah, well. Like one I know they're outliers. So, we're, like when we're talking about this kind of stuff, you have to think about in general yes. the women in general and bigger numbers. Sure, I'm Olympians not, I, are. I'm not denying that. I think if anything, if we are going to have a draft with women, we need to. Ass- I mean, we all have to go through a physical, even if we're being drafted, right? So, yeah. I mean, we then assess. Okay, what can we best put them to? Well, then, like, then it's most nice. women are not going to meet the requirements. And well, remember depends on the position. that they've opened up all of the special forces to women for, what, 20, 30 years now? 20 years, something like that? Not a single woman has been able to pass uh, Navy SEALs or BUDS or, like, the different Green Beret train. Women just can't do it. Well, and going along, Wait, going along that, with that, I wouldn't mm-hmm. want them to lower that standard so that women could. They right? do. No, I'm not, no, no, no. I, but I here's the thing. Oh, they have to it do, like, less push-ups. It is a different standard. It is a different standard. And this isn't just for the military. It's for police force, mm-hmm. yeah, firefighters. Fire. Yeah. So for, like mm-hmm. I think for the poli- uh, the military, you know, there's there's a, a speed test in terms of so being able to complete a, a really mile equal. or I don't know right. how long right. it is. Push ups. Well, this is the thing: is girl, these things. women always will say like, "We want to be equal, so you have to let us do these things." You have to first of all, if they have to let you. It's not equal. Right. Second of all, if they have to lower the standard for you to get in, it's also not equal. So it's all just this illusion, yeah. this mm. silly illusion. And I don't want to. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I think that she's sick of it. I think that in the not so distant future, a few generations from now, they're going to look back on this feminist experiment and go, "Whoa, that was a disaster. Mm. Glad we got rid of that because it's not. It's simply not sustainable. It I mean, can't. We can't even keep going with it because birth rates." have tanked mm-hmm. right right yeah. so either tanked maybe it won't, <laughs> maybe it won't go away and then humanity will just go extinct there will be a reset and That's like cool. people people always ask mm-hmm. me what i think it'll be and i think it's going to be painful and ugly there's like a couple ways it could go but it's not going to be fun for anyone when it happens How do you whoever gets it ai come? first <laughs> we're in trouble i don't know it could be china who knows what happens okay uh one thing related to this mm. just i don't know we've Who's physically, who's <laughs> physically stronger, men or women? Starting with you. Well, men. I haven't denied it. It is still men. <laughs> men. 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 Okay. All right. Just, just wanted to check here. We've heard. We have had some. We've had <laughs> some women. <laughs> some girls there are some weenie men, uh, but it's say, fine. And there I'll even grant sure. there are certainly there are women out there who can be right. stronger than men. Oh, yeah, and there's who some can lift more average, 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 average. Yeah. But. I saw that grip strength thing, and we've pulled that up before too. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I mean, the vast majority of men are stronger than mm-hmm. women. So, anyways, yeah. uh, let's see. Let's get into actually kind of sort of related to the feminist conversation a little bit. I don't know if we'll linger too long on the actual debate of it, but I do at least want to get your answers. So the question is, oh, after then this George one. donated two hundred dollars. Last one. Do the ladies believe in evolution? If so, men evolved into their role, because men have been primarily on the front lines and pushed mentally and physically. Join a SEAL team, ladies. Okay, Ben George, thank you, man. Uh, do you believe in evolution? Yes. Um, y- yes and no. Okay. Yes. Yep. I don't know. What is the LDS? <laughs> I was, I was actually this? just I was just thinking about that um, <laughs> because we believe in Adam and Eve um, and I have had discussions with family members about this but I don't feel like I've ever gotten an answer so I don't know okay what about you yeah yes I don't don't believe in evolution no 
Wait, aren't you I, a bio major? <laughs> I'm, yes. <laughs> Rachel? No, evolution is fake and gay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, cool. Okay, thank you, Ben George. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Okay. So, let's see here. We have, ah, uh, yes. Okay, man or bear. Would you rather come across a random man or a random bear in the woods? Starting with you, go ahead. Can you come back to me? I don't know. <gasps> okay, I, we'll I come just, back. Go ahead. I'm like, I'm a man. Man? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no, no. Guys, let people answer. Don't try to force them. Go ahead. No, I give a man. Why, wait, 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 hold on. Did somebody pressure you? No, I don't get pressured. I have my own thoughts. You were thinking about, you were thinking about the... I was just going to say, um, a bear, this is going to sound crazy, but if I, obviously, if I'm in the woods and then a bear approaches me and I did not have time to research a bear... Wait. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. Yeah, thank you, Grid One. Appreciate Songbird, it, feminism has failed you. Your lies to yourself are failing you. The patriarchy stands ready to help. Submit and be saved from your irrational thoughts. Be better. <laughs> okay, thank you, Grid One Motorsports, man. Good to see you in the chat. Thank you, man. Uh, you were saying? Let's say that um, men can be pretty unpredictable. I'll give you that. But I chose, I choose men. You I would rather man? be in the woods with the man. A man. A man. Man. A man. I, I'm still on the fence about it. Just, just because I've had pick. like... Got like a uh, knee uh, instant. I'm gonna say bear. <laughs> say bear. Rachel, what about you? Oh, a man. Okay. There's an article on my Substack where I go over the last 45 years of data about men and whether or not the primary risk to women is men, and it's absolutely not. Like unequivocally, not even close. Your husband or the man in your life is poses like far less risk to you than you've been led to believe by propaganda. What was the largest risk? The riskiest situation for a woman is to be in a cohabitation situation with a guy that she's sleeping with. Mm. Yeah. Whereas yeah. far and away the safest is to be living with your married husband and children, like by a factor of 12 times. And it was a major talking point of feminism in the 60s and 70s that men are these abusers, uh, they're alcoholics, they're gonna beat you, and so you have to be able to leave and you have to be able to cohabitate or you have to just be able to be, remain unattached so that you can get away if he turns out to be a bad guy. But it turns out that when you take the, the primary person out of your life who has an interest in providing for you and protecting you, you actually put yourself at much greater risk and you end up with the kind of guys who are gonna pump you and dump you and be bad to you and treat you like garbage because they have no vested interest in long-term what's your best interest. So like the data's super overwhelming on it. Hmm. Why do you pick bear, I'm just curious. Um, I just, I've just been through like a lot of things with um, men. Um, I was sure. assaulted, essayed as a kid, and a lot of a couple of my first experiences in like sexually was also that, but like in high school. So I just feel like I I don't know. <coughs> I'd rather be mauled than go through that again. But that's but, just so, based off my experience. It's not just based off of But Okay, keep in mind, this is a random man mm -hmm. or a random bear. So the random man could be, oh, I mean, the overwhelmingly likely to either leave you alone or be helpful in some sort of woods situation. But like, why are we both standing in the middle of the woods? Like, I think you're overthinking the scenario like a little I'm, bit, but... In the middle of nowhere in the woods, you're probably a serial unreliver. <laughs> no way! Serial well, unreliver? Well, you're not going to find victims out Then why are you in the middle of the woods? The woods. Yeah, the man's going to be in the woods because he's hunting Maybe or hiking or doing bro stuff. Well, he, so like, here's the scenario, though. So it's like a random man. So you, of the entire U.S. population, <coughs> you're just plucking a random man out of it. Mm. So you can't even think of what are the motivations for him being there. It's like you just get both of you just get plucked into the woods. But you are you are coming across. So you will come across a random man or a random bear. You will get into contact. 
I just I still. I still so if you were like say. roll the dice and you just randomly get put into a situation with a random man, what do you think is like the chance of any given man, a random man, <clears throat> having a, wanting to harm you in some way, wanting to assault you in some way? So if Jeffrey Dahmer was in the woods versus the bear, what would you rather? No. <laughs> the question is what, like, okay, there, what's the population of the U.S.? Over 300 million, 150? Yeah. So it's so like you're, 150. You're basically statistically, you're basically saying that you statistically think that there's a more chance that the man is going to be wicked and evil towards you. I'm not even thinking statistically. I'm thinking personally. Like, thinking Okay, but it's a random, of... sure, but it's a random man, right? Yes. Okay. I was also thinking I could probably outrun a guy. I cannot outrun a bear, especially in their natural habitat. Yeah. I don't think I could outrun either. You're all... Okay, well, that being said, a bear, we know for sure, will, if we get too close, is going to cause harm. Let me ask you, let me ask you a different question. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather... Would you rather... Let's say you see a man at a campfire, and then you see, like, a bear at a campsite who's, like, ruffling through some uh some like food or something who would you rather go up and pat on the head three times <laughs> well, the man or the bear obviously the man okay here here's a different scenario okay. you're on the top floor of a burning i'm so glad i'm not dating donating hey, good to see you dude. it's been a while if my wife was Thank hiking you, through the woods alone she's five foot four plus 110 pounds say i wasn't present I would rather her come across another random man rather than a bear 100% of the time. Irrational. Mm, thank you. I'm so glad I'm not dating. <laughs> Good to see you back in the chat, dude. Okay, here's the other scenario. You're on the top floor of a burning building for an appointment. You don't work there, so you don't know like the people in the building, whatever. Top floor of a burning building. The stairs burning. There's two elevators, top floor. There's a man in one of the elevators and a bear in the other, other elevator. And you're trying to get to the bottom. Which, which elevator do you go into? The one with the random man or the one with the bear? Well, I feel like the answer is obvious. The one with the man in it because okay. we're both trying to escape something. Okay. Good times. All right. Well, there it is. I feel like I need to ask that question like show of hands because I feel like some of you would have said bear. I thought about it. I think some of you would have said bear, but then she said, man, yeah. look at that. I, good I, for you. I'm reasonable here. Yeah, Come you're on. reasonable. Okay, there you go. That's good. That's good. All right, so we did man versus bear. Let's do, uh, wait, actually, Grid won motorsports. He's still in the chat. He mentioned the patriarchy. He did. Do you guys want to, this is definitely dating related. Do you guys want to smash the patriarchy? Should we, should we smash like, I don't Smash even the understand patriarchy. necessarily like what we're talking about here when we say the patriarchy. Well, so like you know, feminism. One of the core tenets of feminism is the pa there's the patriarch the patriarchy theory. Patriarchy. Okay. Do you want to smash it? Should we get rid of the patriarchy? I, don't, I feel like I just don't care enough. But okay, cool. What about you? Um, I I think there are certain aspects where it's just naturally going to happen. And I think there's some places where maybe there could be more leeway. That's it. That's really so it. So is, is there a patriarchy? Hmm. These days, I want to say just like smidge. It really depends on where you're looking. You'd, and you'd have to look. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't be shy. I, I see that you want to say something, and I want you to... Oh, I was making a joke it. in my head, like, yeah, oh. I want to smash the patriarchy, but not smash the patriarchy, if you know what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I... Yeah. 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 You know? Um, I think that there could be some tweaks, but I don't want to end it, no. Okay. No, we should not get rid of the patriarchy. <laughs> no, we should not get rid of it. Um, I think I also don't really know what the patriarchy is that much. Do you feel like, so when feminists talk about the patriarchy, they're usually saying there's this historic conspiracy of men to control women, to keep them under their boot, to prevent them from having power or free will or like the choice to leave or do what they want, right? Mm -hmm. There's this effort among men in general to keep women like under, under their foot a little bit, to keep them down. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that's a thing? 
Um, maybe in the past, but not so much now. Okay. Yeah, same. I feel like we all can pretty much do what we want, so. Okay, question. What are we going to do about the men that think that they can lead, but they can't? We're supposed to just okay. let them, like, run shit? I mean, I don't, I don't see that. Well, uh, can you give me an example of a man who thinks he can lead, but, but doesn't? So it could be, like, if we're talking about the patriarchy in general, we could talk about a president. I don't want to pick one and say, like, what I think, but I'm not going to say every man is going to be great to lead, and, they, like, that's been in office. So do you guys assume, then, that when we're talking about, like, patriarchy that all men have dominion over all women or do we think that there's a hierarchy among men i can respect that yeah and i think one thing that feminism did unintentionally that's been really destructive for everybody is it destroyed that hierarchy among men and now what you have it because you used to have the like more alpha type of men uh yeah, we used to keeping down the the like beta cuck type of like you know the the gamma type of males who are just jealous and resentful mm -hmm. and they like they think that they're like i should be having a girlfriend she should like me but she only likes that six foot tall football player and i'm gonna i'm gonna show her you know those those type like of guys a girl mm -hmm. yeah yeah yes. they used to bully those guys into their proper place i love like that we need to bring, them, bring it back yeah Please. keep them kind of like where they need to be, keep them in line a little bit but what feminism and egalitarianism did was kind of like take that away so now you do have these feminine by the way feminist men okay all they're trying to do is what get women yeah they're just try like, they're trying to fuck <laughs> yeah, right so they're not they're not honest dudes they're not going to be leaders they're going to be shitheads they're going to be uh impersonators they're going to be the kind of dudes that you don't want and it used to be that you had to compete for a wife you know back in the day like you had to prove to a man that you could support his daughter that you could take care of her that you were worthy of marrying her now we all just like go for the guy who like we all pick the wrong dudes, right? We Very often we pick the wrong guy because some of them have adapted and figured out how to manipulate and sneak their way in. And like the guy who you've friend zoned forever and then the minute you break <clears> up with your boyfriend, he's like right there with a bottle of wine and like, oh, honey, I'm so, You know, like he's trying to use what he can to get what he wants. So right. like they become, they act like females. They act sneaky and they use manipulation and subterfuge and gossip and things like that to get girls okay. and so we end up with these dudes right can i ask um so you know I, I i know people who are like that and i know people who are feminists who aren't like that they're yeah Ooh. i'm so glad i'm not dating donated 200 dollars. he's a perfect match you go to his house one of his rooms properly locked in his house is filled with guns and ammo reloading equipment including multiple AR-15 rifles. Whatever do you do? Uh, what if it's just for protection? Like, you know, like he feels like the need to protect his home and he's one of those people that <clears throat> likes to collect things? I don't know. If it's properly locked, then that doesn't have anything to do with me, I guess. So you'd be okay with it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's what the question is asking. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I'd be okay with it. I mean, I'd ask, like, is... I mean, are you using it for hunting purposes? Uh, you know, I know hunters, they're fine. But then also, I mean, if it's not, why do you need a, an AR-15 